hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you if you have only discovered my channel I'm actually starting a new playlist because I have discovered a Visual Studio Code extension today which I thought hey this is pretty useful this happened to me before and like quite a few times and this would come in handy and then I looked at how many installed this extension has and it only had like 1900 so not many people know about it so I thought why shouldn't I make a playlist as well about uh, recommending things when I discover things just uh, or recommend things that I think are would be useful to you in your developer life so the extension I'm talking about in this video is called if you go in the extension in Visual Studio Code is called Backpix it is the first one that comes I have already installed it as you can see oh, only like 1800 installs and only well, I think there are only has like three reviews if you go on the actual website um, and what does this extension do well in JavaScript if you're working with JavaScript um, you have this template literal as well you say something like let's say const um, word equals something and then you have a template literal where, uh, where you say something like const sentence equals and then you put a backtick like this uh, and you use uh, and you say uh, this is and then you want to use something or whatever you have in a variable so you put this like this and so if you know template literals you know how this works it's basically you put in instead of uh, uh, basically if there is an expression here like a math expression or anything it evaluates it first and then it puts it in in the string so i bet it happened to you before as well where uh, you started making a string you started writing the string and you started writing it with um with not a normal uh, normal ones instead of using backticks you just uh, start with like uh, an usual string uh, either with uh, these ones or uh, with this with this one right so um, you started writing a string and you started writing this is and then you realize oh i want to use this variable in this word and yeah you could have say something like plus um, word but uh, if you know how to use backticks uh, it looks nicer when you use backticks so you, you would want to use this variable here like you would use with backticks so what this uh, extension does when you have it inside even if you wrote it like this if you start writing like you would uh, write in back things like uh, using a variable you see it automatically transforms this in backticks and you can write your variable and same if you use the other ones if you use this right well not this because this is the backticks um, if you use this and then you start again it transforms it in backticks and you can write the thing so yeah this is it for now if uh, if you feel like this is a good one for you and it, it will help you please give a like subscribe and of course um, maybe leave a review to um, for this um, great extensions i want to thank whoever has done it there are two contributors which are contributions i don't know much about extensions but uh, whoever has built this uh, good job all right see you next time bye bye for now